Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. White House staffers just revealed how they really feel about first family and shocking admission. President Trump set out to accomplish a huge agenda when he entered the presidency and has accomplished much of what he set out to do. Not only that, but both President Trump and First Lady Melania are adored by Americans in general and by those that work for and with them. They are great people and the working men and women of America relate to them. After over 500 days in office, the consensus of the majority of Americans is that the first family is a breath of fresh air in American politics. I'd say it's been a terrific first year and a half for the president and his family, with much more to come. The American economy is stronger, American workers are experiencing more opportunities, confidence is soaring, and business is booming, the White House wrote in a statement. Nearly 3 million jobs have been created since President Trump took office. Trump has also gotten hostages released by North Korea and is the first sitting president to sit down with a leader of that country. Regulations have been slashed, immigration is being handled and the wall is being built. Taxes have been deeply cut and there is more on the way. The president is bringing jobs and prosperity back to America at long last and our military is once again feared and respected. Above all, the rule of law is being reinstated and our police officers are revered once again. Unemployment is at a 3.8 percent low and black and Hispanic unemployment are at historic lows. Job openings have skyrocketed to 6.6 .6 million, which is the highest on record as well. China and other countries have been put on notice that the U.S. is no longer the world's bank and that we insist in fair as well as free trade. Our enemies such as Iran have been put in their place and things under President Trump are looking quite different than under Barack Obama. The UN will never be the same either. I have wondered, as I'm sure Americans in general have, how White House employees feel about the first family compared to the Obamas. I'm sure they see all sides of them. After all, the Trumps are people like the rest of us and have their good and bad moments. But as far as First Lady Melania goes, the staff love the heck out of her. Not only is she drop dead gorgeous, she's a good and gentle person as well. Melania is possibly the most beloved First Lady we have ever had and is full of grace and class not only in the way she dresses, but the way she conducts herself. Something Americans have sorely missed. We can once again love our first lady. The members of the permanent White House staff instantly adored her, reported Business Insider. It was her thoughtful, everyday interactions with them that made her stand out among other first families, former staffers have said. Melania is kind and thoughtful to all those around her. Not demanding and overbearing. She doesn't treat them like they are slaves or beneath her at all. Every time I have seen Melania, whether it is with children, the elderly, families, etc. she has a gentle word and touch for those around her. She is an inspiration and a comfort to those she interacts with. Melania is a very private person. She speaks numerous languages and is an accomplished businesswoman. But beyond all that, she is a devoted wife and mother. The left hates her for it, but America adores her. She spends a lot of her time caring for their son Baron, calling herself a full-time mom. Since moving to the White House, Melania has also taken on the many duties required of First Ladies, from decorating the residence to planning official events. Through it all, she has staffers who help her with these tasks and they thoroughly enjoy being around and helping Melania as opposed to certain other First Ladies. Of course, if you listen to the lying media, you would never know it. In fact, they paint an awful picture of Melania which could not be further from the truth. Melania actually cares about and respects the White House staffers. For instance, she brought two White House staff members who were close to the Bush family as her guests to former First Lady Barbara Bush's funeral in Houston. That was beyond kind and thoughtful and it is the norm for Melania. She was accompanied by former White House head Mater D. George Haney and current White House usher Buddy Carter, the First Lady's office said. She knew they were very close to the Bush family and wanted them to be able to pay their respects, spokeswoman Stephanie Grisham said. In a statement following the service, Melania praised Bush as a woman of indisputable character and grace. It was my honor to travel to Houston to give my respects to Barbara Bush and the remarkable life she led as a mother, wife, and fearless first lady, she said. At that service, Melania stood out in all her grace during what was a very solemn and emotional goodbye to Barbara Bush. So, don't believe what you see in the media. The staff at the White House are crazy about Melania and so is America in general. We have a fantastic First Lady and we should all be proud of her in many, many ways. But they also adore the First Family in general because they treat the staff with respect and kindness, something they did not see in the last administration. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe.
Thank you.